The cell cycle represents the series of events that most cells will go through during their lifetime. The cell cycle, if we look at this schematic, essentially it starts right here. And the very first thing that a new cell will do is enter into G1. The G1 phase of the cell cycle um, is the very first thing that happens. And this is where the cell is growing and sort of just going about its normal cellular business. Um, then eventually that cell would enter into the S phase. S stands for synthesis. DNA synthesis takes place during the S phase. This is where all of the DNA replicates in preparation for di cell division eventually. Um, after the S phase, we go into G2. By the way, the G stands for gap. So this is gap one, this is gap two. Um, during G2, the cell is growing, still it's growing, organelles are duplicating, and the cell is getting ready to divide. So finally, once all of that is done, finally the cell would enter into the M phase, or mitosis phase. And during mitosis, this is when the contents of the nucleus gets partitioned. Uh, so all of the duplicated DNA, it needs to get separated, and that takes a lot of organization. So we're going to be reviewing that a little bit later on today. Um, just as another note, before we move on from this general cell cycle, the cell cycle does have some checkpoints. There is a major checkpoint right here at the end of G1, and then there's another major checkpoint over here at the end of G2. And those checkpoints are really good control points for the cell. Uh, so for example, after the DNA has duplicated, what the cell does at the checkpoint is it makes sure that that DNA replication was successful. If there's a chromosome where um, maybe DNA synthesis started okay, but then it, it got interrupted, maybe the chromosome wasn't fully duplicated, that's something that the cell needs to catch, ideally, before division happens. We don't want to duplicate the cell and propagate that change down into future generations. Um, so there, that checkpoint really helps to ensure that everything replicates correctly and truly the cell is ready to go through the final division process. So checkpoints uh, involve a lot of proteins, a lot of special proteins, um, and those proteins can be sort of toggled on and off by modifications. We were mentioning some modifications earlier when we described the, the proteome and how there are so many different proteins even though we only have 25,000 genes. Um, so some of the modifications that can be carried out to proteins are helpful for being able to control where the cell is at in its cell cycle. If proteins get toggled on, that might allow the cell to move on into the next phase. If proteins are toggled off, then it might kind of keep the cell paused at that checkpoint. 